I would like to invite David Rubin, Mazkir of Benea Kiva, to address the Kahila. Chief Rabbi Mervis, Your Excellency, Ambassador Regev, the Right Honourable Stephen Crabb, His Worshipful, the Mayor of Barnet, Rabbi Lawrence, Dayanim, Rabbanim, distinguished guests, Chaverim. As we leave Yom Hazikaron, we remember the actions of so many of our people who gave their lives to save and protect Am Yisrael. Earlier today, throughout Israel, soldiers stood by the graves of the fallen to ensure their memories will live on. Most of us here in this room have been fortunate to visit, to tour, or even live in Israel. We stand in awe of those people who would have described themselves as ordinary, but whose acts show that they were anything but. Tonight's celebration is about thanking Hashem for the incredible miracles that re-established Jewish sovereignty the, of, in the land of Israel. But it is also about appreciating the individual selfless acts of those people who have devoted their lives to a higher purpose, that of building and developing the state of Israel. We celebrate those from all walks of life and every place on earth who came together to contribute to Israel, whether, re whether religious or secular, from the west or the east, rich or poor. The one thing they all have in common is a lifelong dedication to improving the Jewish future in our revived homeland. Tonight, we are honored to welcome one such person who has dedicated his life to the state of Israel, our new ambassador, Mark Regev. Your Excellency, you have inspired Jews throughout the world with your passionate and eloquent defense of Israel in the media. And we are sure that you will inspire the amazing Chaverim of Bnei Akiva, who selflessly promote Israel's cause in schools and campuses across the UK, empowering our youth to be proud Zionists. This trait of selflessness, of devoting one's life to a higher purpose, runs through our entire people's history. We see it most clearly with the remarkable actions of Queen Esther in the Purim story. After being persuaded by Mordechai that the Jewish people were in serious danger, she decided to take dramatic steps to deal with the situation. Entering unannounced into the king's inner chamber was punishable by death. Yet Esther did just that and eventually engineered Haman's downfall. But why did Esther, Esther risk her newly attained royalty and indeed her life to save the Jews. The day that Haman chose to kill the Jews was 11 months away, so why not wait for someone else to take up the cause? Perhaps she remembered how Mordechai selflessly took her in as a child when her parents died. Perhaps she remembered how her ancestor Rachel allowed her older sister Leah to marry Yaakov to spare her embarrassment. Or perhaps she realized that Hashem, whose very act of creation was selfless, wants his children to emulate him. In modern times, the Zionist movement went from being a vision to a reality due to those who devoted their lives for a higher purpose. Those who made Aliyah from the UK 70 years ago did so, leaving behind comfortable lives to move to a barren land to cultivate, build and develop it. But now, in 2016, when so much of society calls on us to live life for ourselves, how can we, the young people of today emulate Queen Esther and dedicate our lives to a higher purpose. The answer, Bnei Akiva. <laughs> Bnei Akiva's message of Torah Avodah, of taking our religious values and applying them to help our people and better the wider world around us, inspires our Chaverim to work tirelessly for the community. Every week, hundreds of Bnei Akiva Chaverim volunteer their time to plan fun and educational activities for the youth of their community at Sviva. This year, we have seen Bnei Akiva Madrachim take this inspirational message to strengthen small communities such as Liverpool and Edinburgh through the Chief Rabbi's Eitz Chaim project. This commitment has brought our message of Torah Avodah to an even greater audience. In a few months, over 150 Madrachim will be dedicating their summer to running eight different machanot in Wales, Holland, Israel, and for our newly relaunched Gimel Machaneh in Spain. Why do they do it? 
because these madrachim know how important machana is. It allows young people to develop pride in their Jewish identity and create a lifelong connection with Israel. The success of our machanot are entirely dependent on the selfless and passionate dedication of B'nai Akiva volunteers. And that commitment to a higher cause impacts the entire community, reverberating beyond our youth. Just one example, when Malia Buatia, the new president of the National Union of Students, describes the leadership of Birmingham Jewish Society as being dominated by Zionist activists, she is referring to Bogrim of B'nai Akiva, many of whom are sitting in this room. who selflessly dedicate their time to promoting Israel's cause in difficult circumstances. And it's not only in Birmingham that our Bagrim are taking the initiative to promote Judaism in Israel through this inspirational message of Torah Vavada, but across the country, from Bristol to Leeds, London to Oxford, we are leading the way. Our Chaverim, by dedicating many hours, days and weeks to B'nai Akiva, are a shining example of how to dedicate one's life to a higher purpose, to our people, our land, and our Torah. In B'nai Akiva, it is not enough to live for ourselves. It is not enough to learn Torah as an individual. Rather, we should look to share it with others. It is not enough to live in a vacuum. Rather, we should look around us and ask how we can give more to the community. It is not enough to visit Israel on holiday. Rather, we must take ownership of our mission to continue de developing the state. To you, the Chavirim of B'nai Akiva, I call on you to follow in the footsteps of the Madrachim that have gone before you. Don't accept the status quo. Always look to change it. Where there are young people who have not yet heard the message of Torah Vavada, spread that word. Where others lead lives merely to further their careers, we must strive to make a lasting impact on the Jewish people. When you have a choice between volunteering for B'nai Akiva or staying at home, ask yourself, what will impact the world more? B'nai Akiva is more than just an organization. It's a life force that drives young people to be selflessly and relentlessly dedicated to Am Yisrael, Be'eret Yisrael, al Torah Yisrael. Through the selfless dedication of its Haverim, B'nai Akiva has the power to make an even bigger impact on our community and ultimately our state. It is time to realize our mission. Kadima Bene Akiva.